The Hyundai G4FJ, also known as the 1.6T GDI, is a 1.6-liter turbocharged gasoline engine produced in South Korea since 2011. It was developed as part of Hyundai Kia's strategy to combine compact displacement with turbocharging and direct injection for higher efficiency and performance. The engine powers a wide range of popular models, including the Hyundai Tucson, Kona, Veloster, Kia Sportage, Seed, Seltos, and Soul. While it offers modern technology and impressive output for its size, the G4FJ has earned a reputation for mixed reliability. Let's take a closer look at its design, specifications, and the most common problems owners encounter. The Hyundai G4FJ is a 1.6-liter inline four-cylinder gasoline engine with a displacement of 1,591 cubic centimeters. It is equipped with direct fuel injection, a turbocharger, and a lightweight 16-valve aluminum cylinder head. With a bore of 77 millimeters and a stroke of 85.4 millimeters, the engine runs at a compression ratio of a night one and produces between 177 and 204 horsepower, along with 265 newmeters of torque. Designed to run on 95 Ron gasoline and compliant with Euro 5 and Euro 6 emission standards, the G4FJ combines compact dimensions with strong performance, offering a balance of efficiency and power that made it a popular choice across Hyundai and Kia models. The Hyundai G4FJ engine was developed from the G4FD unit, but distinguished itself by adopting a Borg Warner twin scroll turbocharger. B01G or BV43 paired with an intercooler to improve charge cooling and efficiency. Its construction features an aluminum open deck cylinder block that helps reduce overall weight, though this design compromises structural rigidity under heavy loads. The engine uses a DOHC valve train with dual CVVT, providing continuously variable valve timing on both intake and exhaust camshafts for better flexibility and performance. To support durability in turbocharged conditions, oil jets are used to cool the pistons, while the timing system relies on a chain rather than a belt, although the chain's long-term reliability has been questioned. Another drawback is the absence of hydraulic lifters, requiring manual valve clearance adjustments roughly every 90,000 kilometers. The G4FJ quickly gained a reputation for weaknesses that affected its long-term dependability. Engines from the first years of production were particularly troublesome. Among the most serious issues, spark plug failures. Spark plugs tended to disintegrate with fragments damaging the cylinder walls, detonation, and piston cracking. Many owners reported broken pistons due to detonation, sometimes at very low mileage, 40,000 to 50,000 kilometers. Hyundai made running improvements over time, but early G4FJ units are often considered highly risky in terms of reliability. The twin scroll turbocharger, while delivering strong performance, has a relatively short lifespan. Many owners note that the turbo begins leaking oil even at low mileage. Since replacing the turbo is costly, this problem remains one of the biggest financial risks for G4FJ owners. One of the fundamental weaknesses of the G4FJ lies in its aluminum open deck block. Because the cylinder liners are thin and not reinforced, they tend to deform over time, losing their round shape and becoming oval. This distortion often appears around 100,000 kilometers and leads to increased oil consumption, oil burning, accelerated wear of piston rings and cylinder walls, progressive loss of compression and performance, this issue is common across many vehicles with this engine and is one of the main reasons for complaints on owner forums. While the timing chain was expected to last the lifetime of the engine, in practice it often stretches much earlier, sometimes before 150,000 kilometers. If the chain jumps, valves are likely to bend, leading to expensive repairs. This makes regular inspection and preventive replacement advisable. Beyond the major concerns, several smaller but recurring issues are reported by owners. Frequent oil leaks from gaskets and seals. Noisy or unstable operation due to carbon buildup on intake valves, a typical issue for direct injection engines. Dirty throttle body causing rough idling and hesitation. 
Lack of hydraulic lifters means valve clearance adjustment is mandatory. While none of these problems alone may be catastrophic, they add to the engine's reputation for being maintenance intensive. The Hyundai G4 FJ 1.6T GDI engine is a mixed bag. On the one hand, it delivers strong power, modern features like direct injection and turbocharging, and has been widely used across Hyundai and Kia's lineup. On the other hand, it suffers from serious design weaknesses, from piston failures and turbo issues in early years, to chronic oil consumption, timing chain wear, and intake carbon buildup. In short, the G4FJ shows how advanced engineering and real-world reliability don't always go hand-in-hand. Hand. 